Hi guys, my name is Yani. And the real name is the name of this channel with this Jim Wale and Fabian. And in today's video, we will talk about basic logic kits and how we combine those kits. And we will create uh, sear kits on those kits. Like this one, which I will show you on the uh, on on the other half of the video and how this circuit works. This video will cover the usage of end gates, or gates, not gates, the combination of end and the or gates, and the combination of all those three. Here is the example of an end gate. Uh, we can say that the uh, IC the red wire is connecting the IC to the 5 volts while the black wire is connecting the IC to the ground. The yellow wire which is connected to pin 3 is connected to the output which is the LED and the 220 ohm resist resistor and the LED is connected to the ground. The two hanging wires which is the green wire and the other orange wire is the input of is the input for the circuit so if uh, one of one of them is placed on the positive on the 5 volts and the other into the ground the LED will turn off if both of the wires are connected to the 5 volts the LED will turn on same goes if the green is connected to the ground and the orange wire is connected to the 5 volts. When both of them are connected to the ground, LED won't turn on won't turn on because both because both of them should be connected to the 5 volts in able to turn it on. This is an example of a knot gate. The pin layout of of this IC is almost the same as the end gate earlier. The only difference is that uh, the not gate output pin is on pin 2 while on the end gate's output pin is on pin 3. Since uh, the, uh, the not gate only requires one input enable, enable to work. If I, this is the input wire. So if I connected the input wire to the ground, the LED will will turn on. If I connected it to the 5 volts, the LED will turn off because not gates are inverting the state of the input. So if the the input is uh, on the ground, the LED will set high or it will become or it will turn on but if I set my input to high or 1 the LED will turn off this is an example of an OR gate the IC is 7432 which is an IC for an OR gate it is similar to the end gate the output pin is on pin 3 and the two outputs is on pin 1 and pin 2 but the only difference is that if one if one of them is connected to the ground the LED will will be on if both of them on is on the positive 5 volts the LED will be st still turn on however if both of them is connected to the ground the LED will turn off this this is the only state that the LED will turn off if the both input are connected to the ground this is an example of an end or circuit we can see that end gate and or gate is connected to each other we can see that we have three we have Two from the end gate and one from the OR gate. When one of uh, when both of the input from the end gate is connected to the ground 
and the input from the OR gate is connected to the ground, the LED will turn off. If the input from the OR gate is connected to 5 volts and the input from the end gate are still connected to the ground, the LED will turn on. If one of the input from the end gate is connected to 5 volts, and the input from the OR gate is connected to ground, the LED will turn, will turn off. If the from the OR gate is connected again to the 5 volts, the LED will turn on. This shows that uh, the, the output generating from the end gate will be is either 0 or 1. If if the output from the end gate is 0 and 0 then the one of the input from the from the OR gate will become 0 and vice versa. So since uh, the, the the output from the end gate can see that one of them is connected to ground and one connected and one of them is connected to 5 volts. The output of this end gate is 0. And if we connected the input from the OR gate to the ground, the LED will turn off. If we connect it to the 5 volts, the LED will turn on. So it means that we combine the input from the end gate and the comparator from the OR gate will serve as uh, the use decision is able to light up our LED. This is an example of a pin or not circuit. As we can see, this circuit composes of four inputs which represented by these green wires. It able to make the LED in a state of one or on. We should put the in we sh it, it should compose of uh, three inputs whether it is on the ground or in the 5 volts. In this uh, circuit, all of the inputs are on the ground. While if two of them are connected to the 5 volts and the other two on the ground, the LED will turn off. If all of them are connected to the 5 volts or one of or three of them are connected to the 5 volts, the LED will turn on. If all of them connected to the 5 volts, the LED will still turn on. We can see how these gates work. We can say that these are responsible on how the circuit should work based on the input we put on those circuits. Gates tend to create decisions where the electric current will flow. This determines if the LED will light up or not. The previous circuits determine we have the different ways on how the LED will light up. Some of them composes of three inputs. Some of them are just one output only, enable to light up our LED or make the LED on the state of one. These are the topics for today. Until next time, bye!